Now, um, most students know about the big four CPA firms, which is you know Deloitte, KPMG, Ernst and Young, uh, Price Waterhouse Coopers. Unfortunately, they have, you know I think for a lot of students just have tunnel vision. They only focus on those big four CPA firms, and they don't know about all these other uh, great regional CPA firms or boutique CPA firms out there uh, to work for. So could you, do you mind sharing some information about uh, Squire Milner? I mean, it's still a very large firm. And as I mentioned earlier, they have um, nine office locations scattered across California, as well as one in the Cayman Islands. So can you share a little bit about your firm and why it is also a great place to work for? Yeah, so I, Absolutely. I always kind of, it, it's funny for me kind of looking back on how I discovered accounting and how I, much like many of your students, when I started my path down into public accounting, I couldn't have named any firm. I think the only firm I could have named you when I was in high school or the beginning of college before I took any accounting classes was KPMG. And the only reason I knew KPMG is because I would watch Sports Center on TV and the golfer Phil Mickelson would wear a KPMG hat. And I, you know, I got curious and looked him up. Oh, okay, it's an accounting firm. Okay, whatever that means. Um, and by the way, I don't, I'm not even a big golfer. I just happened to see it on TV and that was my association. So good job KPMG on a sponsorship. That's the great advertising, um, but I, I didn't know. And so once you start in public accounting, then yeah, you discover the big four. And then there are a bunch of other firms that maybe you know about, maybe you don't know about. Um, just that discovery process of the firms I always thought was interesting. And for the record, um, how I found Squire Milner was somewhat accidental. I didn't know who Squire Milner was when I recruited with them in 2013. To be very honest with you, it was a, a partner who hired me at BDO, had switched firms from BDO to Squire Milner. And I really liked that guy. And so he offered me a job at Squire Milner and I went to Squire Milner. Um, and so that, that was, my decision wasn't made because of who and what Score Milner was as a firm at the time. It was made based on my individual relationship with that partner, which by the way, I think is an excellent way to, to recruit when you're considering firms and when you're looking at them. And I know we'll get into this probably a little bit later, but it's so much of it is just relationship based. So if you click really well with certain people at one firm, but not another, that's a really good sign. And for me at the time, that, that was my, my version of tunnel vision was saying like, okay, I know this guy, I really like this guy. I would love to work for this guy. I have before, and I want to keep working for this guy. So that's kind of how that happened. Um, but a little bit more about Score Milner as the firm has grown, because when I joined the firm in 2013, we were somewhere between 200 and 250 people and today we're over 600 professionals at the firm. So there's been quite a bit of growth. But when I look back and reflect on my time at Squire Milner, both as an auditor and in the recruiting role, one of my favorite things about this firm is that we are a firm that believes in challenging stereotypes. Um, we, you know, we believe that you can be technically proficient while at the same time uh, enjoying what you do, having fun, being goofy, maybe not looking and sounding like what people think an auditor is supposed to look or sound like, or a tax professional is supposed to look or sound like. Um, and so because of the way the partners manage the firm, they allow you to be you. And I know that's a cliche and it's tired and it gets used a lot, but one of the things I'm most appreciative for is when I joined the firm as an auditor, I was the very first audit associate in our Los Angeles office. We now have uh, about 20 to 25 auditors in our LA practice, but at the time it was me as senior manager and two partners. And they put up with me being kind of a goofball and they put up with me being frankly, kind of an idiot. Um, I was younger, I was a little bit more immature, but I think those partners and that senior manager, all of whom are mentors to me today, believed in me and allowed me to be me. And that's why I'm saying Squire Milner as a firm does a very good job of not forcing you to be a certain way. Um, maintain your autonomy, maintain your individuality. And oh, by the way, we just happen to be excellent accountants, but what Squire Milner is or why we exist as a firm is to kind of challenge these stereotypes and allow you to be who and what you are. That's great. Maybe some of my students will appreciate kind of being in that environment. 
So hopefully they'll be able to speak with you in the near future.